Hi guys and welcome to Cooking with Fat Julie where I share tips and tricks in the kitchen as well as quick and easy recipes. Today I'm going to show you how to turn a pepper into a frog. You're going to choose your bell pepper and cut it in half. Now one of these bumps on the bottom is going to be your head. So choose which one you want to be your head and cut it in half so that the head is in the middle. Like that. You're going to cut out all of the seeds and all of the white parts in the middle and then you're ready to get working. So, I'm going to put half of my pepper aside and with a sharp knife I'm going to start cutting with the head. Now remember as I said before, I'm not an artist so you could probably have yours looking a lot better than mine. But we're going to start out with the head. And so like I said, this bump is my head. So from the head, I'm going to move on to my first pair of arms or legs, which are going to be here. I'm going to try and make that even on both sides, but it's not a big deal. Now I'm going to leave the little hand parts for last because those are going to be what's hardest for me. So I'm going to start cutting my arm, leaving a spot to create the, the hands or the webbed feet, and along this part of the pepper, that's where really my body is. So I'm going to cut along there. Cutting out a leg piece. Like that. Now again, here's my body. So I'm going to cut along my body. making my legs and you can round that out and I'm leaving this little hand part for last. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So there's my little frog. Just rounding out his head a bit. And then I'm going to do what I can for feet. Now, when you're cutting peppers, it's always easiest to cut them from this side so your knife doesn't slip. Uh, but given that we're trying to carve them, it's a little bit difficult to follow that rule. You want to use a sharp knife so that it cuts, but you also want to be very careful not to cut yourself. So now I have my frog. And I'm going to make him some eyes. So for this frog, I'm going to use some pitted green olives. And I'm just going to cut out an eye where it's been pitted. And I'm just going to cut out the bottom so that it can stand up on my frog. And I'm going to do the same thing with another olive. Now keep in mind that these pieces of pepper and olive that you haven't used can go right into your salad or whatever it is you're making. So I'm going to take a little bit of soft cheese. You can use whatever kind of cheese you have, even a black eyed pea, whatever you've got. And I'm going to put that in the eye. And I'm going to use that to stick it to my frog. And I'm going to do the same with my other eye. And there you go. I have my little frog. And okay, so now that I have this frog done, 
I'm going to use the other side of my pepper to make another frog. I'm still going to use soft cheese this time, but I'm going to change my olives to black olives. And of course you can use whatever you want, even another color of pepper. So here's my frog. I'm going to put some eyes on him. I'll maybe fix his head a bit first. There we go. Okay, so here's my little frog. I have two frogs. I'm going to use the rest of my peppers in my salad. And of course you can use big peppers, little peppers, different colored peppers, whatever it is you want. So like I've said before, I'm definitely not an artist, but this is my attempt at making a frog out of a red pepper and cutting some lettuce into the shape of a lily pad. I use little pieces of green olives for eyes. And he's got little toes. There you go. So have fun, give him a try, and bon appetit.